So we're going to be looking at the hologram material preset by Extreme PBR Combo. Let's go check it out. Here's one for example. Now there's two types of material presets. There is the holograms, which are all these ones, which we'll look at in a sec. And then we'll, we've also got hologram lights. We'll check that out afterwards. So from here, I'm going to select, mm, let's find one. I like this one, a little bit of synthy wave. Let's apply that. I am currently in Eevee. And so that's why we've got a nice bloom coming around it. We do have a whole bunch of options here on the right hand side where we can change, um, you know, the speed so we can make them go faster, slower, give them thick, give them scale. It's, uh, I like that. I like that one. Um, what can we pick? Let's maybe pick this one. We'll see what it looks like. Alpha hashed. So we've also got the options to change the blend type as well. Alpha hash should be fine. We got alpha clip, opaque, blend, alpha hash. There we go. So although you can see that it's very um, kind of like spotty, that's just because of the render. Let's just go shade smooth with that. Clean that up. Shade smooth. There we go. And you can kind of see now how we've got this really nice glow happening from this one. Let's pick a different one. Let's come over into these dots. Replace that, please. Give it a sec for it to update. Um, but yeah, once again, we can change all the animations and so on and so forth. And all I am doing is applying it to a object. Let's just rotate through this. Now for hash, there we go. So it doesn't look like there's any animation to this one. However, I know there's animation on this one. Nyar. And we've got plenty of options to change the color. So, oh my goodness, come on, buddy. Uh, so we've got that one, emission strength. We can probably bump that up to maybe even 50. Um, I want the dots to be red because that's where the danger is. <coughs> Idiot. <laughs> um, so, I mean, that looks really nice. Now, what obviously we can do is, you know, put it as if it's in like a sci-fi environment, you know, on a turntable, do something like Blade Runner um, and have all those things. I mean, we can, so if I just pause that for a sec, you can see it's nice, vibrant colors. Let's just hide that for a sec. And if I bring back, here's one that I semi-prepared earlier. Um, so this is the hologram lights down the bottom. This is the character. I just threw on one of the random materials, but you can kind of see how we can apply it to pretty much anything. Uh, from here as well, obviously we've got this kind of rotating around, but what we can do as well we, is throw on like, so it's glitching out as well. And so it kind of does like a bit of a flash. So for those of you who are sensitive to lines, <laughs> you can see that it's kind of going to be moving around ish. And so here's another one where it's, you can see that it's flashing out. So that's applying that glitch. And I just realized why my computer is so freaking slow at the moment is because I'm trying to render at 60 frames a second, like a moron. I know Blender, idiot. <laughs> this one. And that's, that's quite nice. I actually really like that one. Ooh, animation speed, so we might even increase it. You could even whip that onto like a TV and oh, like even heads up monitors. That'd be cool. Let's change a color. I do prefer a bit of a bluish color, same as engines. I mean, we could go even like a cyberpunk one. Let's go shift D and I might scale it up. Let's rotate Z 180. From here, I'm going to remove the material. Let's now add a new material and we've got a different color. What's digging? I'm sorry. It's, look, it's late. From here, what I'm going to do is apply a cone. I mean, add a cone. Let's go rotate X 180, G to the Z. And we're going to scale it up like so. Let's come from the holograms into the hologram lights. Uh, I do like this one. And we're going to go add new. And this is what it's added. Now, because I flipped it 180 on the X axis and I just pulled a muscle in my neck. That's my old age. The Z axis is going the wrong direction. So if I go control A and apply the rotation, now you can kind of see that we've got this glow as if it is projecting from below. Let's just pause that just so you can kind of get a glimpse. I don't know. 
the different exit.